<laughs> Hello, welcome to my bungalow tour slash house tour. It's a house tour. Stop playing bungalow. So to finish off the moving vlog series, I thought I would do like a full tour and show you everything that I've bought because I've done kind of, I did in episode one of the moving vlogs an empty house tour and obviously now I've bought everything so I'm going to show you everything all together so yeah come in this is the second time we've actually filmed this because we the first one was just very frantic and I'm going to try and slow down now got a cup of tea this is a very relaxed scenario I'll start here this is my shoe cupboard it's a little bit of a mess but it's just one of those things so we'll close that up. I've got a shoe rack in there, which is actually really cool, by the way. It's from Argos. That's where it's from. So just in case you didn't know, this is a rental, so I can't actually change anything in here. It all came like this. So don't ask me where the worktop's from or anything like that, because I have no idea. <laughs> I was very lucky because I'm the first person to live in here. And so everything was like brand new. It was all bright white, exactly the way I wanted it to be. So welcome to my kitchen. So. The thing I love the most about this room is the island. I've wanted a kitchen island for so long and I finally got it. I just love standing here cooking, having a glass of wine or sitting there with my morning coffee on my iPad, which has, there's a plug underneath the island, which just makes me really happy. So I can plug my stuff in there and just sit there. I've got these bar stools, which are from By Korea. They're really comfy, I really really like them. I just think it's nice to have like a little touch of black in here. I was going to show you all the cupboards, but there's a lot of cupboards so I'm not going to. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on to you over here. This is my kind of like dining area of the kitchen. This whole room is just open plan, so like everything's just in one place basically. I actually got this table just yesterday from the Cotswold company and I found that their tables were a really really good price and they're like kind of Neptune vibes that's what I kind of told myself anyway. <laughs> These flowers are from the amazing Claudia and B. I love them. I've never seen anybody else do flowers in this style before. She does them so well. I think they just really stand out. I love them. And then my placemats by the way, this is all just dropped off the flowers. That's not crumbs. But my placemats are from the White Company. I like having like a couple of kind of natural materials in here. I think it just makes it feel a bit more homey because I guess the kitchen's a little bit stark. In my old flat, I don't know if you guys remember me saying there was no windows, none of the windows open. So I've kind of gone from one extreme to the other in this place. There's so many windows on literally every wall. So it's like a really airy, which I really like. So I'll take you through here. This is obviously my garden. I don't have any grass, which I'm kind of glad about because I don't know how I would look after that. <laughs> But yeah, it's just basically one big patio, which is actually really nice. Um, it's south facing, so am I an estate agent or what? <laughs> it's south facing, so we get lots of sun in here. It's just a really nice little space. Um, I really appreciate having outdoor space after living in my other flat. There's these. And then on like this side of the kitchen is my like lounge area. I've got this new sofa which is from Snug and I put like the corner coming into the middle of the room to try and kind of separate the two so it kind of feels like I've got more of like a separate lounge over here which is really really nice especially when you sit in this corner because it doesn't feel like the kitchen's really there which I really like. <laughs> These cushions I got from the White Company. I feel like the linen and like the cotton looks really nice against the velvet sofa. I've got some fresh eucalyptus on the side. I literally have no colour in this place apart from like any flowers or plants that I get. This diffuser here is from Marks and Spencers but I put the White Company oil in there, a little hack for you because that diffuser is actually only £29 and then the white company one's actually like 70 so you can just get that one it works just as well this round mirror also from my old flat is from donnell these are new blinds 
I've not shown anybody these yet. Yeah, I went for like a um, linen because I just felt like I needed something a bit more kind of homey in here rather than all my other blinds are like wooden kind of shutter vibe ones. How cute is my fruit bowl? Okay. Moving through here. By the way, if you want to buy any of the stuff that I'm showing you, it will be linked down below in the description box. This is my little laundry cupboard. I've got my washing machine, ironing board, air iron, and then anything that needs ironing, I just chuck it in that basket and then one evening I get the ironing board out. <laughs> just in case you're wondering, I don't know why it would be. This is a print I ordered, which I did not realise the size of. It's really big and I don't know where I'm going to put it so I think I'm going to have to send it back which is sad. <laughs> Should we go into the office? So this is like the office slash spare room. Um, this is probably my least favourite room I'm going to be honest with you. It's just <sighs> full of Ikea stuff because it needed to have loads of storage because this chest of drawers is full of all my clothes and then this one's like makeup. Um, and just like bits I get sent, I needed somewhere to keep it all. My desk, obviously. My desk is from Wayfair. Just think it's a really good size. Chair is from made.com. I actually stole it off of Ruby and never gave it back. I've got a day bed because I just felt like the office needed like a sofa for the daytime. Now when people come, I can just pull it out and it's a bed. So. I've never sat on that as a sofa, so I don't know why I felt the need to do that. I guess it takes up less space, makes it feel less of a bedroom and more of an office. And then, if you, oh, this is my wardrobe that I keep. My, like, coats, jackets, suitcases, that kind of thing. And then, if you come back through here, this is, like, the main bathroom. That's the bathroom which has got the bar and it's actually got a shower up there but I never use that because I've got another shower. Yeah, just nice and kind of clean, modern, bright, just how I like it. And then if you come through here, this is my bedroom. And yeah, I just like to keep it in here like really kind of tranquil plain, relaxing. My bed is from Time for Sleep, which is actually from my old flat. Obviously just bought it here. <laughs> um, my bedding, this is from The White Company. It actually went into the sale, which is so annoying, so I don't think you can get it anymore, but they definitely do a similar one, like a new version. And I got big cushions to match. And then these ones are from H&M. As I said, everything will be linked down below if you wanted to shop anything. My Lamps are from the White Company also, and bedside tables are from Laradu. And I use the Neom Pillow Mist. Oh my god, I've actually used so much of that, I didn't realise. I really like it, I think it smells really good. And I've also got the matching candle. And then this is my main wardrobe. It's just got basically all my clothes in, and all my bags. I actually don't have that many clothes. I feel like people think I have so many clothes, but I actually don't have that many, I don't think. Well, I mean I do, but not like a disgusting amount. It's my Picasso print, which I got from John Lewis. It's also from my old place, but I feel like it can kind of fit anywhere. My laundry basket. I got that in TK Maxx, and it's one of those things that they just randomly always have in there. So if you want that, you can still get it. <laughs> This mirror is from Ikea and it was wood. I attempted to paint it white and did a really horrific job. If you get up close to that, <laughs> you can see that I actually did such a bad job, but I'm telling myself that that's the style that I wanted. <laughs> and then in here is my ensuite. So this is just the bathroom that I always use. I barely use the other one, to be honest. Uh, I've got a big shower. I absolutely love that shower. It's so big. And then, yeah, mirrors. These mirrors are new, which is why I'm highlighting the fact I actually have mirrors. I don't know what else to say about that. Got my toothbrush, Spotlight Oral Care. I love these toothbrushes. 
little 10 minute video. Okay, well, that is my home. I hope you enjoyed the tour. I don't know if I've gone into enough detail or not, but if there's anything that you want to shop, like I said, it will be linked down below in the description box. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please do click subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Cool! Woo! <laughs>